I was 31 years old when I started my first company. I had a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and an infant, and no job. So that'll give you some initiative to, to go out and be successful. My brother and I, we started Principal LED in, in 2010 with a real simple mission statement. We, we, we wanted to really simplify the lives of our customers. And it's kind of that culture permeates, I think, through our entire operation. And you'll see that if you come into our offices and check out uh, and, and get to meet some of the people. These awards are great, but um, at the end of the day, it's a team effort. We started Principal LED in 2010. We manufacture LED systems specific to the sign industry. We try and do things ethically, do them honestly, and do them in a way that would, you know, would be a maximum service to, to not only to God but the people around us. And I think when we do that, and we live out that kind of that kind of mission. Um, Customers are attracted to that, and I think that's been a big part of our growth. Uh, Brian Vincent's an example of a great entrepreneur. Brian has built a great team around, uh, and he understands his niche in the sign industry, what those customers in that niche need and want, and he's worked hard fulfilling those needs. And it becomes very important to that niche of customers. And uh, customer service is very important to him. It's obvious in everything he says and does and all his team members buy into that as well. Like a lot of entrepreneurs, I didn't plan on being a business owner necessarily. Um, but I can remember the bad times too. I can remember, you know, 15 years ago trying to borrow money from, from my wife to make payroll. And, you know, we have 74 employees. So, um, you know, it feels good to be able to make that kind of impact on your community, to be able to have, um, be able to help provide for employees and their families. If you play a sport, you're, when you make a mistake, that kind of sticks with you. We don't tend to remember our successes, but we certainly remember where we made mistakes and failures. And I've always tried to learn from them. And since 2010, we probably had about a 45% to 50% aggregate growth rate over the past seven years, compounded growth rate. We actually built a new building two years ago moved into that building and pretty quickly realized that we had outgrown it so um, especially with the manufacturing that we added so we're actually moving to a new 55,000 square foot facility um, that'll be our corporate office also encompass all of our manufacturing as well as our warehouse and distribution it's it's a process you, you need to do it not for the money you need to do it because you love creating something and you love um, you love what you do and you love your industry.